sickle cell disease. It's horrible name for a horrible disease. I mean, Jack the Ripper and communism. Nothing good ever come with a sickle, right? And it really is as horrible as it sounds. Sickle cell disease, a genetic disorder, turns red blood cells sickle shaped, which are no great carrying auction. No auction, no breeding. Not the breeding, no breeding. Well, what if the secret to stopping this horrid illness can be found in the very moment of our birth? The red blood cells have a, have a key protein called hemoglobin, which is responsible for picking up oxygen. This hemoglobin is made out of four parts. One half we call alpha, and the other beta. You and me and mothers and everyone else. Our hemoglobin is alpha, beta chained up together. Alpha, beta chained up together. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> alpha, beta chained up together. Can you give uh, applause? <laughs> okay. but, uh, but the problem is with this beta gene, which sometimes suffers mutation and makes it all go secret shaped. And unfortunately, we do not yet have a fix for beta gene mutation. But here's a surprise. We are actually not born with alpha beta hemoglobin. Hemoglobin in unborn babies, the fetal hemoglobin has the same upper half as the mother, but for the other half, it's gamma, not beta. And incredibly, this fetal hemoglobin alpha gamma combination within minutes of the baby being born switches to adult hemoglobin alpha beta. It's really like a switch, a switch of life from alpha gamma to alpha beta. So, what do we do when we know a baby has a problem with this beta gene. Simple. We stop the switch. We use some chemicals to hold back the switch of life so that the baby, even after it's born, continues to live with alpha, gamma, hemoglobin, with the troublesome beta gene silenced. Amazing, right? Well, I'm afraid. We are not quite there yet. We know, in theory, it can work, but we have yet to make it work. And along the way, there will be challenges, risks, and surgery controversies. But remember, we are all here today, enjoying all this amazing science, uh, amazing tools of science, because we can breathe. And in finding this switch of life means breathing chance for 4.4 million patients around the world. Well, I think it's damn worth a try. Thank you.